Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We've just got back from Disney World, so I just wanted to do a little haul video to show you what we bought whilst we were there. I'll try and include the prices as best as I can, but I don't have prices on everything. Um, and then obviously all the prices that I do give you will be without tax as well, so usually they're just a little bit more than what I see how they are. Uh, but I'll just dig straight in. We have got quite a lot of stuff to get through. So I'll try to categorise it as best as I can, but hopefully this will give you an idea of the kind of things you can buy. Just before we get started with this vlog, I just wanted to give you um, a little tip that I usually do follow. And that is if you see something that you really, really love in Disney and you know you definitely want it, just buy it as soon as you see it. Because there's so many times that I've missed out on buying things because I didn't buy it there and then. And then when I went back to get it, it had sold out or it had been taken off the shelves um, and recalled. And you'd think that wouldn't really happen very much, but it actually happens quite a lot. One of the main examples was I wanted um, a big pin book because we've just got like a little mini one, you know, the um, kind of the walk over your shoulder and you carry your pins in them. I wanted a big one because we've got quite a lot of pins now and I saw them when we first went but something like that you just think oh god they're always there and then I went to buy one just before we left and he told me that they'd all been recalled from the entire park um, and Disney Springs and everything because they had a zipper issue so they wouldn't be getting any back in for the next three to five weeks so if you are heading out to Disney World kind of the last two weeks in August beginning of September that's probably still going to be the case that you might not be able to get that as well and the second thing, the great movie ride shut when we were there and we went into the park a few days before it shut and they had loads of great movie ride t-shirts and I was like, I really, really want one of those. I'll get one kind of as we leave in the park. Because we went to watch Fantasmic and there were so many crowds, I just kind of forgot about it. And so the next day we went into the park and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll grab one of those today. Again, we were rushing for our fast pass. So I went, we went to our ride, went on the fast pass, came back and by the time I'd got back, all of the shirts had sold out and they weren't getting any more back in stock so I was really really good about that you can actually buy them online or you could at the time but to get them shipped was going to take three to five weeks and they were only shipped to the US so I totally missed out on that and it has happened quite a few times before as well so if I can give you one piece of advice about merchandise is if you see something that you really really want make sure you buy it the minute you see it because there's so many times that I've missed out on things that I really wanted um, just because they sold out or, or they weren't there anymore or they were limited edition especially when it comes to pins and stuff there's a lot of limited edition things that you just can't get after a while so yeah just buy them there and then so the first thing i'm going to show you is one of my favorite things and it's something really silly but i absolutely love this and this is the little neverland plate see that there um i bought this it was actually in the um, the section with all the like mugs and the crockery and things like that so I think it is a plate but I bought it so I can put it by the side of my bed and put all like my jewellery and my watch and everything in before I go to sleep um, and there was another one as well so I just bought them both so I've got a set and it says just think of a wonderful thought and that's Tinkerbell um, and they're just shaped like a leaf they're like a ceramic type plate and they were both 12 99 each um, but I absolutely love that I just think it's the cutest thing the new kind of range at the moment is Peter Pan so I don't think these have been out very long the next thing I got was a couple of mugs so this one is my favourite one and it's just all the kind of castles and things that are in fantasy lands so you've got like Snow White's house um, Jasmine's, Rapunzel's Ariel's, all those on there and then inside it says once upon a time you can see that there and then happily ever after and i just thought that was so cute and it's such a nice little fancy land cup um, and that was $17.99 and then i also got this one um, and it's just like a chalkboard effect one and it says be our guest never grow up once upon a time happiest place on earth and then it's got the castle as well and that one was $15.99 without the tax. Um, that's actually a really big mug. I don't know if you can kind of tell the difference. This one's actually really sizable. I saw the Beauty and the Beast range in this and I really, really liked it. But then when I saw this one, because it was like a park exclusive, I went for this one instead. Because the Beauty and the Beast ones you can actually now get on the Disney Store website. The next one that we got, we actually got this from the Character Warehouse. Um, and it's this Star Wars mug. So this is the one that I've picked up 
on that one. Um, originally it was fourteen ninety five, but I think we paid about four dollars for it. Um, it really wasn't very much, and that was in a character warehouse. That one we did see these last year when we went, and we didn't get one then, and we did look at it for a while. Um, but I'm glad we didn't because I got it much cheaper this time. The next thing, just a little bit random, is something I got the character outlet as well, and it's just like a luggage tag. And it's a frozen one, it says to Arundel. And it's just got your kind of, oh, can you see that? The details on the back there that you fill in. And this originally was $12.99, and we got that for $3.99 at the outlet as well. So that was really cute. They did have some really nice luggage tags, but I was kind of a bit worried if I got an expensive one, someone might pinch it off my luggage. So I just went for that one instead. Next thing's Christmas. So we always get a Christmas decoration every year that we go um, so that we can have like a Disney tree eventually and it's just to kind of commemorate the year that we went so this one is our kind of main one and it's the Disney gate when we got home Minnie's nose had fallen off it's obviously really really delicate but I've managed to glue that back on and then on the back it's just the same really and that says Walt Disney World Happy Holidays and that one was $25.99 Nearly all the Christmas decorations were somewhere around the $20 mark. So $25 does sound quite expensive for a decoration, but the size of this compared to some of the others that were about the same price, this is actually a really good one. The next thing we got was this Mickey Mouse 2017 one, because we always get one with the year on. And it's just like Sorcerer Mickey. So this kind of Sorcerer Mickey was the 2017 like mascot this year, I guess. Um, and this one, I think it was $22, but you got three for 55 So because we went with my mum, my dad, my sister and her boyfriend for this trip, like each of us got one of these to commemorate being there. So we just shared them out on the three for 55 three for 55 <laughs> The next thing I got... Um, if you can see it, I did pick up a couple of the Disney Pandora charms. So this one is the Mrs. Potts and Chip one. And if you actually buy the Pandora charms in the park, they come with this lovely box that says Disney Parks Pandora. But if you buy it at Disney Springs, it doesn't have that. It's just a plain box. Um, so if you want to get any for a present, this is quite a nice idea to do that. I also got the mini ball ring. So, I'll just take that one out. That's that one there. So when I was there, um, I knew I wanted this ring because I'd seen it last year. And this was one of the things that I knew I was definitely going to get. And when I got there, they told me that it had been discontinued. And they had four left in the shop at Disney Springs. And Disney World had already sold out. So the chances are you probably won't be able to get this anymore unless you go online or something. I think they did still have some on the website. Um, if you wanted like pre-order it because I, I don't think that was a park exclusive so I had to get it in a smaller size but it does fit my little finger which is fine um, ideally I would like it for that one but I ended up buying this ring instead and the last one I got was the Snow White charms this might be quite difficult to see but it's Snow White lying in bed and the prince is like kissing her and then on the bottom, and again, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, it says Love's First Kiss. And this was to commemorate eight years of Snow White. So I really like that one as well. And then just because you kind of saw this before, it's not a Pandora, but I also got this ring. It's just the castle. It is an adjustable ring. It is an adjustable ring, so kind of one size fits anybody and I think that one was about 20 dollars I'm not sure exactly um, but they're just available in the parks. When I went this time I really wanted to get some Walt Disney World exclusive some sums but there really wasn't many at all like I thought they would have a much bigger range but I did manage to pick up the Tower of Terror some sums so that's the kind of collection there. So Daisy's like the little girl in the lift and Donald I don't know if he's like the workman or the lift operator I'm not too sure which one that one is and then we've got Mickey who's got his like bow tie on and he's like the Hollywood guy and then Minnie who's the 
Hollywood Girl. And then you've got Goofy, who's a Tower of Terror worker. Maybe he's the lift operator, I'm not sure. And these were $5.99 each, but you got four for... Was it four for 16 or four for 18 or something like that? There was some kind of offer where you got four. And there's about 16 or $18. The next Sum Sum collection I got was the Up collection. So that's the one. So you've got Carl and the little kind of tropical bird thing. Doug and Russell as well. These little wilderness badges on. There was another dog that had like a cone around his head, but because there were four for 16 or 18 or whatever it was, I just ended up getting the four because I didn't really need two dogs, I guess. Um, the next thing I got, I think the Christmas decorations, to be honest, I'm going to use them as a Christmas decoration anyway, um, are these kind of like soft toy hanging decorations. And I got, they were from the Bambi collection, and these were also in the outlets. So I've got Bambi, Thumper, the Owl, and Flower. And these were all slightly different prices. Um, originally, they were $16.99 each. Um, Flower's got a $5 price tag on him. The Owl's got a $5 price tag on him. Thumper was two ninety nine, and I think Bambi was about five or six dollars as well. Um, for fifteen dollars, I think that's pretty expensive. But for five dollars, I don't think you can really go wrong with that. Next thing I got was this lanyard. So I just kind of thought I could maybe wear this for work because it's quite subtle Disney, and it's actually the same print as the cup that I got. So it says like believe in magic and happiest place on earth and it's got like the castle print and everything on as well and then it just says Disney Parks there and that was eleven dollars ninety five. Uh, this time I went for the Mickey's Cocoa Chocolate Fudge Powder. I looked at this last year and I didn't end up getting it and I think last year they might have had like a three pack and this year they only had this one or a three pack of like minis and they were literally about this big, they were so small. Um, I'm not sure how much this is because it doesn't have a price on it but I want to say it was maybe between $12 and $16 possibly. I've got the coffee of this as well, the Mickey's Swell Diner coffee but he's taken that away so I can't show you that. Um, but that's that one, I can't wait to have this one and it's like um, a tin as well so once you're finished you can just like put your own hot chocolate in it and keep it Ooh, that's the picture there so it's quite a nice little collectible for your kitchen as well um, I got, you'll have seen this a million times but I also got the MU hat so I was in two minds about getting this for ages because I'm not really a massive cap wearer but I just thought it was too cute to, to not get really. <laughs> I think that one was about, again, about $16, $20. I'm not 100% sure, but it was somewhere in that price math bracket. And then Ev's a really big Oswald fan, which you'll find out a bit more in this video because we've got so much Oswald stuff. So this year he bought Oswald and his girlfriend, I think she's called Hortensia, Um because we hadn't seen these before, especially not Hortensia anyway, and they were both $16.95 each, and they're just kind of like a mini, mini teddy. And then we also got a Shelley Mae and a Duffy. This costume Duffy's got on the Oswald costume we actually got in the outlets as well, and that was $7.99, so that was pretty cool, because I think it was about twenty twenty five for the outfit um, before it went to the outlets. So we were after Duffy and Shelley May for a while and we thought this trip we would get it. So that's them too. The next thing is something else that I really love and if you watch my Disneyland Paris haul you'll know how much I love a poster book. <laughs> so this is the, if you can see that there, it's quite a little shining. 2018 um, Walt Disney World Parks and Resorts attraction poster calendar. Um, and I haven't opened this yet to have a look at it but they're all the attraction posters um, for each month and I love that in Christmas it's got the it's this one here the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam poster for that 
um, and then obviously once you're finished you can just rip them out and use them as art on your wall not that we'll have any room on my walls from all the posters that we've got um, but I just absolutely love this and that was $24.99 we also got this um, every year we go we end up getting a piece of art by Greg McCulloch because he always just happens to be there and it kind of started as a bit of a tradition we went there for when we got engaged and he was there and they've bought a piece of artwork and then we went back the next year for our honeymoon and whilst we were there Greg told us that he wasn't allowed to sell any Star Wars Disney collaboration art anymore so I've ended up buying like even more Star Wars artwork so then this year when we went he had some new pieces um, it might not be really new but we hadn't seen them before anyway and we got this tree um, and Greg signed it at the bottom there oh, if you can see it there um, and in here there's 52 hidden characters um, I don't know if you'll really be able to see anything on the video but they're all just kind of like hidden in the tree so from the distance it doesn't really look like a Disney picture but inside there's like 52 hidden characters and there's just like a little um, can you see that as it's focusing oh it's still at the bottom and in there is like a list of all the characters that are hidden in the tree um, so it's quite a fun, I thought maybe quite a nice thing to have on your wall and it's quite a fun thing to do if you're bored I guess or for your guests to do with the board, I don't know um, the next thing is t-shirts, now we've got so many t-shirts we've probably bought every t-shirt that is available to buy in Disney World, it was ridiculous um, but this is Ev's t-shirt and it's the Hollywood Tower of Terror one it's got the picture of the lift um, and this actually glows in the dark as well so the kind of people glow you can kind of see the like iron on bit there and the drop in bit glows as well um, and I think that was 25 but I got a Tower of Terror t-shirt as well and it was ended up being 2 for 40 it didn't actually advertise that it was 2 for 40 it just went through the till at that and I know that offer was on throughout the park for like other t-shirts um, so maybe just check it's I think it was all t-shirts that were kind of 24 99 worked out two for 40 so that was all right we weren't expecting it to be that so that was good um, I've got this t-shirt in Pandora and it's just like um, a banshee and I think that was maybe about 22 ish everything was around the 22 25 mark we got this one in the outlet and this one matches the mug that he bought and again, this was something that we looked at last year and didn't end up buying um, and then found it in the outlets this time. And he took the tag off this as well, but I think this one was about 10 or $11. It wasn't very expensive. Then he's got this one, which is a Mickey vest. And this one came from the outlet as well, I believe. And I think that one was about $10. And then this one is his Oswald t-shirt there's two different types but this one was kind of like a retro um, kind of weathered type look and that one was 25 or 26 dollars I think this one wasn't on the 2 for 40 offer which was a bit annoying because there was a quite a few t-shirts that were nice and then this is the Tower of Terror one that I got so it's just the standard um, Hollywood Tower Hotel t-shirt and I got it quite a big size so I could either wear it with leggings or like slouching around the house in just because it's quite a thick cosy t-shirt um, and the writing this bit here is like um, a velvet feel and then I got this one from the outlets as well which is Queen Amidala and Princess Leia and that was just like a white vest and I think that was about $12 as well and again I got that in a slightly bigger size just so it was loose because I was going to wear it when I was there and then I never did because um, I just had too many t-shirts the next ones are ones we got from Uniglo whilst we were there so that's in Disney Springs um, and I got this um, Cinderella print t-shirt so it's got, I'll just move that tag so it's got prints of the castle I have a slipper, the carriage, the clock, all of that kind of thing. Um, it's just the same all the way down. And this was originally $15, but it was in the sale for $10. Or $10.90, I think. And then this one was um, the same. 
and this is the Sleeping Beauty t-shirt if you can see that one there so just so you can see a bit closer that has got like little um, motifs of Maleficent and Aurora just kind of dotted in and again I like these they're quite cute because they're like subtle Disney in a way I don't think many people would realise what that was then I got this Chip and Deal one you never really see many Chip and Deal t-shirts um, so this is the one I got and it's got like a girl chipmunk on as well I'm not really sure who that is and then it's got that on the back which is quite cute and that was also in the sale for $10 or $10.90 I think and then I got this one which was full price and that is Snow White and then it's got these kind of like um, flary sleeves if that makes sense and it's got like the apple print there and that one was $15 so I bought this one and then went back a couple of days later and it was in the sale for 10 but it's only $5 it's not the end of the world um, so that was all the t-shirts so the last piece of clothing that I got was this Fantasmic jumper this jumper is my favourite Disney jumper that I've ever bought I absolutely love it so much it's so fluffy inside as well um, obviously I didn't really wear it much when I was there because it is actually quite warm um, but you've got the Fantasmic logo on there and sourced from Mickey with the dragon this was in the Hollywood Studios shop that's connected to Sweet Spells. So as you go through Sweet Spells, it's like the same building, it's just like a different entrance. As you go through Sweet Spells, it was just at the opposite side and they had jumpers, t-shirts. Um, and the, the t-shirt was like a black t-shirt and then with this kind of design on it, but the design was in colour. But I absolutely fell in love with this the minute I saw it. And this was, I think I've taken the price off it, but I think this was $42, which is pretty good for a Disney jumper because they're usually around the 50, 55 mark. Um, but this is, I absolutely love this so much because Fantasmic's one of my favourite shows. And they've changed it slightly since the last time we went as well, which if you watch our vlogs, you'll see. The only thing that I wish this jumper had was pockets because Ev has the Walt Disney World jumper and his has pockets in the side and this one doesn't, but... I still love it so it doesn't matter <laughs> the next thing I got was a gift and this was for my nana I don't really know how well you'll be able to see this but it's is that better? it's just a white scarf but it's got Mickey Prince kind of all over it so again it's just a little subtle Disney item um, and that was $24.99 We got a couple of chew toys for Louie, we got him a Mickey waffle but I don't actually know where that's gone. Um, so this is the Mickey Bar Disney Tales dog toy and that was $12.99 and it's got like a squeak in it as well. Um, and then I also got him these little bow ties, I've taken one out because I had it on him so I don't know if that one's gone either. Um, so you've got like a Haunted Mansion one there, you've got like a Mickey one there um, and then another Mickey one there. And I got these from the outlet, so these were originally $15, but we got them for $8.99. Um, we also picked up these whilst we were at the outlet. So these are just fridge magnets, so we've got Tinkerbell um, and Snow White. So I just got a couple of these to give as gifts. These were $1.99 each, and it was originally a red. I don't know what red means, but more than $1.99 anyway. Um, so I just picked up a couple of those to give away as presents. Um, I picked up this from the outlet as well and it was just a Walt Disney World colouring book so I got a few of those just to give away as presents and there's just like it's just Walt Disney pictures really there's nothing Walt Disney worldy about it necessarily I don't think oh there is a lied <laughs> Tarzan's tree house Splash Mountain um, so that's quite cute and again that was only two dollars so that was really really cheap these are something I wanted to get last time and I didn't end up getting them um, and I was a bit gutted actually but then I ended up getting them this time and that was the cookbooks the Chef Mickey cookbooks so in here are like recipes from the Disney parks and it's from a woman by called pra ugh, by a woman called Pam Brandon I don't know who she is but if you like really into Disney that might make sense to you 
Um, and it's just got all these categories here. So you've got like beverages, breads, soups, salads, dressings, um, vegetables, desserts, all kinds of stuff really. I'm not, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a massive cooker, but I thought if I have a Disney cookbook, I might actually cook more. Um, but I think there's recipes in here from like the parks, from different hotels. So that one's like the chocolate cream cheese buckle, and that's from Cinderella's Royal Table. Um, in Magic Kingdom, and that's like um, like a cupcake. And then you've got things like this from like the beer garden restaurant in Germany. All different kinds of recipes, basically. I don't know if the ones that are kind of in the parks now. Um, I have no idea, but yeah, I just think that's really, really cute. It's quite a heavy little thing as well, actually. Um, and that was twenty four dollars ninety five. And then I also got the Disney sweet treats version of as well. So this one's just basically desserts. We've got the warm apple butter cake from Disneyland Hotel. Um, you've got stuff from Disney Cruise Line in here. Um, Mum's favourite peanut butter and chocolate layer cake from the 50s Primetime Diner. So this one was $17.95. And again, I might cook a little bit more if I've got a Disney cookbook. I also... I also picked up this, um, Everything I Need to Know I Learned from a Disney Little Golden Book. I just thought it was a really cute little book. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep this or give it to somebody as a present. But it's just got little, kind of... I don't know, it's just about life, I, I think, really. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, mm. We also got, like, a shed ton of sweets. So, at the end, we had loads and loads of snack credits and quick service credits left because it's just ridiculous. You can't eat them all, especially now that they've changed the dining plan because you get two snacks a day. One snack a day was more than enough, and now you get two. It's ridiculous. Um, so, we have so, so many bags of sweets, goofy sweets. Um, we even started buying, like, healthy trail mixes and stuff because we just didn't have <laughs> for, like... We thought we were going to dive eat all these sweets. We got these um, brownies, which are from Pandora, so Pandora tree spores. There's Star Wars sweets, um, with all kinds. Just to give you an idea, this entire bag here is full of sweets. So we're going to be eating those probably until our next Disney trip. There's actually so many. I think there's probably about 30 bags of sweets, if not more in there. It was just ridiculous the amount that you had. Um, one thing I'll say, if you do have a lot of snack credits that you know are going to be left over, a lot of people say don't buy water and things on snack credits when you're in the park because it's only like 2 or $3. But it's absolutely pointless buying water because the amount of snack credits that you're going to have left over, you might as well use it. We use snack credits for pop, like literally every snack we bought, whether it was ice cream, bottles of coke, bottles of water, absolutely everything, and we still had a ridiculous amount left. And if you've got quick service meals left at the end as well, they convert into three snack credits, so you just end up with so many. Like all of us had about 25 snack credits left, like minimum. Um, and we were just, like, before we went to the airport, we were just buying, like, five bottles of water. So we had one each to drink on the way, and it was just, it was just silly. So when people say don't buy water with your snack credit, just buy it with your snack credit, because otherwise you're going to be left with, like, all of these. We were really lucky because we flew um, with Thomas Cook pre Premium Economy, I think, or Premium. So we ended up with 32 kilograms of luggage. So without that, like, these sweets are so heavy, we would never have been able to bring anything like that back. And you just end up wasting them. So, yeah, just use as many as you can on whatever you want. That's kind of it really for the Disney stuff. Um, the next thing I'm going to go through is the pins. And there is quite a few. So if you're not interested in pins, um, that's kind of what's next. Um, so I'm just going to take this bag out because I've got so many. So the first thing I'll show you actually is... I've got a lanyard. He bought this on the first day and then just like never wore it again. But it is an Oswald lanyard. Um, and then he, he got like a Star Wars mystery pack and that was those there and then we also got a couple of the Oswald 90th birthday edition pins and that's the ones he's got on there and they were about $15.99 each the Oswald pins 
Um, I also got the Bambi 75th Anniversary Limited Edition paint. There was a few of these, but this was just the one I liked the best because it had the kind of, um, what's it called, stained glass effect in there. And that was $15.99. They did seem to have quite a few when I was there, even though they're limited edition. So you should still really be able to pick some of these up. Um, this is something that I've actually wanted for ages. Um, not specifically this one, but I wanted one of the Walt Disney World pieces of history pins. And a lot of the pieces of history pins or rides or things that like I don't really know what they are or they don't really mean a lot to me. Um, and then this one came out for Mickey's Town Square Theatre. So I was really, really happy when I saw this. And this one was $15.99 and that's a limited edition. I also picked up the Mickey 2017 pin and that was a yellow. I'm not too sure what that was. We got one of the Pandora pins. Um, and this was a silver. I think silver was $9.99. Um, and it's just got the banshee on it. just says the world of Avatar. We got a Caribbean beach pin because that's where we stayed this year. And that was a silver. So that was $10 as well. And then I also grabbed a Coronado Springs one because we didn't manage to get one last year when we stayed there. And I like to collect those. Um, this is the Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose pin, which is like a stained glass effect. And I absolutely love this one as well. And that was also a silver, so that was $10. Then <laughs> me and Ev really love watching the little short, the lava short. Um, and then we saw this pin and it says, I lava you. And it's got the two lavas on from the video. So we had to get this. I only ever saw this in one place. And that was in Hollywood Studios in the little pin. Um, it's like a little pin hook kind of as you go into Tower of Terror. And that was a silver, so that was $9.99. If any of you want any Moana pins as well, they were like virtually non-existent, but I did see some in that little Hollywood Studios pin hut as well. Um, before I left, they were starting to like creep one or two in, but it was actually really, really difficult to get anything Moana related. Um, so if you're kind of looking for that, don't, don't get your hopes up too much, to be honest. Um, I also got this Haunted Mansion Madame Leota pin and it's like her in the ball. And these kind of just came out, I think, as we were leaving on the last few days. And that was a yellow. Ooh. Then I also got the Magic Kingdom 45th anniversary pin. There was a few different versions of this, but I just got the one with the castle on. Because that's kind of what meant the most to me. Then we also got this 45th um anniversary mystery pin collection and the two i ended up with was the enchanted tiki room and splash mountain and then those are the ones you could get on there so you've got like the haunted mansion sorry about that my camera just cut off <laughs> so i also just got the kingdom of cute collection so before I came, everybody said these were like sold out everywhere and they were like virtually impossible to get. So the first day that I went, I saw them and I grabbed a box and then they were actually like in quite a few places. So I think they must have resolved the stock issues. Um, so those are the ones you could get on there. And they just kind of keep versions of the attractions that are there. And I got the Gargoyle, which was probably the one I wanted the least. <laughs> And then I also got Dumbo, but he is actually really, really cute. So that's that one. And then I also got one of these, which was the World of Evil packets. And these were $27.99, um, but you get five pins in them, so it wasn't too bad. And that's the, the kind of pins that you could get. So these were all just basically like cute villains. So I got the Stromboli pin, so Stromboli from Pinocchio. Maleficent, uh, King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph, the Goblin again, Goblin, the Gargoyle again from Fantasia, and I think this one is Mother Gothel from Rapunzel. I could have gotten that wrong, but that's what I thought, anyways. Um, we also picked up a couple of these as well whilst we were there. Um, so we just got an Anne celebrating one just to celebrate the fact that it was our first family holiday together. Um, we only really wore these the first day and then we got bored. So that was that one. 
And then I think that's kind of it for pins, really. Yeah, I think that's kind of it for pins, really. One thing that I did forget to show you before, um, I did get a 2017 photo album. So every year that I go, um, I think I said this before, I always get a photo album with the year on so we know what year our photos are from, I guess, because in years we won't know where they are. They'll all be a bit of a mush. Um, and that was $14.99. And it's got the kind of saw through Mickey mascot on from 2017 as well. So that's kind of it for the Disney stuff. I have got some more stuff um, that I got from Basin and Sephora and from the outlets as well. And um, one or two little bits from Universal, not much really. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. Um, if you only really hear for the Disney stuff, then thank you and I hope this has been helpful. Um, but the stuff I got from Universal, I'll start with that first. So... Um, this cup it's actually really filthy it's got fingerprints all over it um, this was a flame and more cup so if you go into Moors and Universal you can get one of these they taste exactly like orange barocca you kind of think it might be a whiskey or something called a flame and more but in the bottom here they've got like these tablets and the, it's like a dry ice tablet and they pour this liquid on the top and then it starts like frothing up um, and it's like an orange juicy it just is just basically like barocca and then you get to keep the drink and that was ten dollars for the drink and the souvenir cup i also picked up these from harry potter world this is pretty much all i bought at universal and it was the fever fudge from weasley's wizard weezers and some bertie bots every flavor beans i have bought a couple of chocolate frogs before in the past just because they were chocolate frogs but they tasted horrible so if you really really like chocolate just stay away from those um <laughs> and the fever fudge was six dollars ninety five and the beans were ten dollars ninety five one thing i'll say is when i was looking through the shops a lot of the kind of fudges and pastels and stuff didn't really have a very long shelf life so just check that before you do buy them if you're giving them as gifts and stuff because some of them that i was looking at kind of went out of date on september the first and this was like the second week in august so if they've only got two weeks on them it's not really obviously a very long time so i'll just check all the dates before you you pick those up so that was it for Universal. Um, oh no, one last thing. Um, I've bought this Fallout cap um, and it just says Voltec on the side. He's really obsessed with like snapbacks. Um, and that was um, in the shop opposite the, is it Williams of Hollywood or something like that? There's a shop that sells all the kind of old um, things that used to have in the parks, like from Horror Nights and they've got the big cow and everything from the twister ride and it's opposite that and it sells loads of like big bang theory merchandise like marvel merch um, and it has a, like video game merch as well and you got the new coca cola version of this last year if you play fallout that will make sense to you if not that will make absolutely no sense um but that was that and i think that was about 20 dollars possibly um this one kind of is a disney thing really but he, he got it in the japan pavilion in Epcot and it's is Mario cap and on the bottom it's got all the kind of tubes and the boxes and things that Mario jumps through and it's obviously like got like a, a pixelate it's like a 3D um Mario on there and I think this was possibly about 2025 as well somewhere along those lines I picked up these from Basin um, so you can't really see them very well, but they're just some bath bombs. Um, I've got them in a few different colours. I've got pink, white um, and blue. And these are the Mickey bath bombs. So when you put them in the bath, all this kind of Mickey confetti comes out. Before we went, we saw like a lot of people buying tubes. And I think the tubes were $20. And you could fit in as many bath bombs as you could for that $20. Um, I checked it out against these. And you could only fit five of these in there for $20. But they were on offer for three for eleven. So if you can get six for twenty-two, obviously it's a better value. But normally these were four dollars fifty each. I don't know if they're on three for eleven all the time. It looked like it was a permanent thing, but it might not be. But if that was much better value than actually getting the tubes. And then I also picked up some Mickey soap as well. These are kind of sliced um and priced on weight. But they're all kind of around the five, six dollars mark. Um they've just got a little Mickey heads in them um, and that one's a pink one there so a couple of these are for myself and a couple of those are for gifts as well um, a few things I got in Sephora um, I picked up the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette in there 
this is something I've wanted for quite a while and when I first went in Sephora they were sold out for kind of like the first week that we were there really it wasn't really that much different to the price of it in England but you did get some better perks with Sephora which I'm going to show you in a sec um if you like eyeshadow and you don't have this go out and buy it because it is unbelievable and it's literally changed my eyeshadow life <laughs> so that is that there so like I said you got some perks for that so I think that was about $44 and I think it's about £41 but then obviously you've got the tax on that as well so it wasn't that much differently priced but because I'd spent $40 or more um, I, I don't know if this was like a member thing I signed up for the card whilst I was there I literally did it at the checkout so if you're not a member you can just do that as you're buying something um, but because I spent $40 I got like a gift set free so I got this little bag um, and it's got like a lot of like minis and things in it you've got like a face cleanser um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills mini brow pencil um, there's like a mini makeup forever powder and I also got a mini Marc Jacobs lipstick and then there's like a couple of samples and creams and stuff in there as well so that was completely free just because I spent $40 and then I signed up for the card and because it was the month of my birthday um, and when we were there I got to pick another free gift so I picked up the Tarte you could either have um, a Tarte gift or it was like a skincare gift and this comes like with a mini blush and a mini lip gloss the blush is actually really really nice well they're both actually really really nice um, so that's those there so for buying that I actually ended up with quite a few free things just off the back of it so yeah I mean you can see kind of all the stuff I got in there and then there's obviously my tart thing as well so that was actually it worked out actually a really good deal um, I also went to Walmart and I picked up one of the CoverGirl Katy Perry lipsticks and I think that was about $9 and um, and that was the colour I got there. And then I also got the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer from Walmart. I've heard quite a lot about this and it actually is really, really nice. It is quite heavily scented though, so if you're not kind of keen on your makeup being scented, this might not be for you. But this was, I think it was about $13, this one. Um, and that's what it looks like there. And it's just got like this kind of wave effect and it does have this like really weird brush in there it's like a foam brush it's so strange um, in a mirror but it smells like like coconut and just tropicalness really <laughs> if you've ever smelt the hawaiian tropics um moisturizer it smells very similar to that so it is quite a strong smell but when it's on your face it's not actually too bad to be honest um, we also went to the outlet. I don't have everything I've got at the outlet because I've got um, some trainers and a top and I think he's wearing them so I don't have them with me. Ooh. So we went to Ralph Lauren. Um, one of the t-shirts that I've got now on is actually from Ralph Lauren as well. Um, and these, the, they were priced tagged up at like $30 I think. But they were on offer for 40% off so I think it was about $16 or $17 we got them for. And then I also got this long sleeved um, Ralph Lauren jersey and that was about the same, I think that was about $18. And then I also got one of the slim fit shirts as well, um, just for work and it's got the pony on there as well. And this one, it had a price tag of $75 on it, then it had 60% off and then because if you go on the Orlando Premium website, Orlando Premium Outlets website, you can actually sign up to like the VIP club. It doesn't cost anything. You just put your email address in and you get access to exclusive offers. And one of the exclusive offers was if you spent $100 in Ralph Lauren, you would get an additional 20% off. So my mum got a few tops um, for her and my dad. So we just kind of put all our purchases together and it came to about $115. And then obviously we got the 20% off. So that was a really good deal. Um, and then Ev got a top as well but I, I think he's got it on so I don't know where that is we also went to the Nike outlet and Ev picked up some Nike trainers he does have another pair but I th again I think he's got them on and these were $50 each 
to be honest we went last year and it was so much cheaper i don't know if there was an offer on where you got extra discount i know last year the exchange rate was a lot better because it was before brexit happened but we were kind of holding out to go to the outlet to buy him like a load of new trainers because it was so cheap last year and this year it just really wasn't at all um the average price of trainers was about 80 or 90 dollars which is probably about 70 or 80 pounds there or thereabouts um so if you have a nike outlet near you or you go online it's probably actually much cheaper than buying them out in florida um especially compared to what it has been in previous years last year i think we spent around about the 100 pound mark and we ended up with four trainers four pairs of trainers i got two and he got two um and this year we spent a hundred dollars just on his his two pairs of trainers i mean it's still like a pretty good price because they are decent trainers and they're actually really lightweight but um yeah if you're kind of holding out for that specifically don't bother because they're just not as cheap as they used to be um the last thing in my haul is another one of my favorite things and this is my kate spade bag that i got from the outlets um and this was 129 dollars and it was supposed to be 350 or 358 i think um and I just thought with that one, it's just quite a timeless bag, so it lasts a really long time. Last year I got a Michael Kors bag and I've worn it every single day and it shows like no sign of wear whatsoever. And I was going to get a Michael Kors bag again this year, but I didn't really see anything that I fancied that much. Um, I knew I wanted this exact style, um, but I couldn't really find it anywhere. Ralph Lauren didn't really have any bags either. And then I saw this one and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it is leather as well. Um, you can tell it's a really sturdy, well-built bag, although it was expensive, it's... It will literally last me for such a long time. And it's got this really long strap as well if you wanted to have it over your shoulder. One thing I will say is we were staying in Caribbean Beach. So because of the construction work that went on, we were given a Disney gift voucher to compensate us for all the um, kind of building work and the inconveniences that were there. The gift voucher worked out at $75 per room per night. So each of us as a couple got a thousand, just over a thousand dollars, I think it was a thousand and fifty dollars um on a gift card um to spend in Disney. So we have got quite a lot of stuff here and we did spend still we did still spend like a, a bit of our own money, um, obviously because we couldn't use it in Ralph Lauren or anything like that, or Kate Spade. But we did use um we didn't have a thousand dollars to spend um courtesy of disney so that was really really nice of them if you are still in caribbean beach if you book before the construction was announced you will get the same thing i believe unless you've been offered a free upgrade so for however many rooms we had three rooms so each room got like i see a 1050 dollar gift card you can only spend it in disney but you can spend it in disney springs and everything as well so like if you go to sephora you can actually spend that gift card there um we were spending it in i spent it in pandora that's how i bought like um some of my charms so although it is a disney gift card you can use it in disney springs which is really helpful but anyway that's the end of my haul i hope that it kind of gave you a bit of an idea of what you would like if you've got any questions please just drop them in the comments below and i'll get back to you as quick as i can um we have got some vlogs coming soon so they'll be going up on our channel um over the next few weeks but well, i hope you enjoyed this anyways and thank you for watching Bye.